In recent years, SpaceX has skyrocketed to the top of the space world. Under the guidance of Elon Musk, the aerospace company has really reached new dimensions. But despite all their successes and achievements, they continue to face some big problems that have really hampered their progress. Today, we will be talking about an issue that has really worried SpaceX. The highly effective Raptor engines, which have been a big part of their success, have started causing problems. You must be wondering, what's the problem in the Raptor engines? Well, stick around till the end as we answer this question and more, as we delve into the details behind this big issue. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Without further ado, let us begin. So first things first, before even talking about the big issue behind the Raptor engines, let me introduce you to the engines first. If I had to give out the simplest explanation for the Raptor engine, it would be a really powerful engine that is not only capable of generating crazy amounts of thrust, but is also reusable, making it highly useful. As you can imagine, these engines are really important behind the success of SpaceX's much coveted Starship. Let us now dive deeper into the intricacies behind this insane engine. The most impressive feature of the Raptor engine is its power. Let us compare it with the F1 engine, which is commonly known as one of the most powerful engines out there. The F1 engine produces roughly 1.5 million pounds of thrust. Yeah, that sounds like a lot, doesn't it? Well, you will be astounded to hear that 510,000 pounds of thrust are generated by each Raptor 2. That is just crazy. But it gets more interesting when you factor in the amount of Raptor engines that are used in the Starship. The Starship can generate approximately 16.7 million pounds of thrust during takeoff, outperforming even the most powerful rocket ever produced in the world before, when all 33 Raptors are operating at full throttle. Whew, that is a lot of power. Musk is clearly doing an amazing job with his rockets because these are amazing numbers. But on the other hand, a lot of problems have started due to the extent of power that is released due to the Raptor engines. The resulting heat and fire are so intense that they can lead to lots of destruction during takeoff. This includes the launch pad and the towers that support the Starship whilst taking off. It comes as no surprise that the FAA took more than a year to examine the Starship flight's effects. NASA is rightfully concerned that SpaceX's Starship could obliterate its launch pad facilities, and this was even before SpaceX had tested 33 Raptors at once. Imagine if it did use all their Raptor engines. It would not only destroy the launch pad, but it would most likely leave a crater behind, given the amount of firepower released. Don't believe me? 16.7 million pounds of thrust? And you can bet a crater will form. I guess SpaceX will need to construct a special launch pad so that they could cater to the insane amount of thrust and power that is released when a fully stacked Starship with 33 Raptor engines will make its first flight. But we are just talking about the consequences caused by the Raptor engines. Now, let us talk about the part you have all been waiting for. What is the big problem with the Raptor engines? If you ask me, the turbo pumps are the largest and most problematic component. The majority of rocket engines used around the world are open cycle designs, where fuel and oxidizer are removed from the main system and used to power a turbine-driven double centrifugal pump. As they're often built to be very fuel rich, the exhaust from that process is released outside the engine bell and can be seen as a trail of black smoke. This might seem like an environmental issue, but it actually helps a lot in terms of durability. The turbine engines and seals are susceptible to high temperatures and stress, which can quickly ruin components with fine tolerance. Being fuel rich helps to keep the temperature down. Now on the other hand, the SpaceX Raptor uses a fully closed cycle system, which is more advanced and actually uses separate turbo pumps for fuel and oxidizer to achieve a fully closed cycle. Since no fuel or oxidizer is lost and is directed to the primary combustion chamber, the engine is therefore more efficient. That necessitates running one of your turbo pump turbines on a lean mixture, which significantly raises the combustion temperature. This not only results in more power, but results in the most energy per fuel achieved. 
but as you can imagine, the increase in combustion and lack of fuel results in high temperatures, which results in the wear and tear of components of the rocket, primarily the turbine blades and seals. This really results in lower lifespans of such parts, and really hampers the reusability feature of the spaceship. That's not all, as it also results in high maintenance costs which add to the billions already being used up in the production of the rocket. But by far, the costliest element has to be time. We all know how Elon Musk demands speed from his team at SpaceX. He wants things to move quickly, and with the wear and tear of such parts, a lot of time will be spent replacing or repairing such parts, which decreases the speed at which the starships can launch. This has been a big emerging issue for SpaceX, and they quickly need to find a way to rectify it, or else they will face negative consequences in the future. When people talk about reusable engines, they think that these engines are less expensive. But that's entirely false. In fact, the shuttle program results can be used to argue that reusing space hardware is actually more expensive than building new hardware. If the flight certification standards for reused hardware are the same as for new hardware. The hard part of space hardware that's expensive is not the aluminum steel and nickel that sits on the launch pad, but it is the size and technical capability of the workforce that's required to comply with traditional flight certification process and maintain the ability to launch on schedule. I would just like to say that all these problems come and go for Elon Musk and SpaceX, yet they always manage to find a way to correct them and move forward in their mission to go to Mars. Let us just hope that he and SpaceX quickly manage to find a solution for the problems in the Raptor engines. That's it for this one, and I hope you liked it. Let me know by pressing the like button, and if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. Take care of yourself, and we'll see you guys in the next one.